Hi Aquarius, welcome to your October Love Tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome, and thank you. So Aquarius, looking at the person on your mind, whoever you're thinking about at this time, and we're looking at how they're truly feeling, their next possible move, and uh, love messages. So welcome in Aquarius. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Male or female, general collective reading. Please only take it out resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. And you definitely can flip, switch, reverse the energies if you need to. Cross watchers are welcome. Could be a reading for you. All right, Aquarius, everything you do need to know is down below in the description box. So you could check that out if you would like to. And your playlists are down there as well. So you could check that out. As well, I'm going to pull you another one because I do see uh, some repeating cards here. All right, let's see what we have. So we have this one. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there are there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Well, so someone could have something going on right now. And we have romance, Cupid, arrow strikes. That one's been coming out a lot manifesting miracles your dream is soon to become reality trust your heart continue to follow its guidance oops look inside yourself examine what is causing you to feel this way and embrace through each other you find the missing pieces so whatever's been missing between you um it could be kind of like a um i don't want to say shattered energy but we did have turmoil here, so I feel like somebody is going through something. So it could be you or them. Um, a lot of like life events just happening one after the other. So maybe this was a romance that could never get off the ground because of some sort of turmoil somebody was going through. Um, and there's a need here to, and I feel like you're going to embrace again. Definitely you're going to be coming together, and this is manifesting. Um though this look inside yourself examine what is causing you to feel this way i'm not sure how quite I'm quite sure how this fits in here but maybe we'll see when the tarot comes in um so it could be somebody's just going through so much change so many things that they're confused they don't know what to do next where to go you know you know this romance might have been blossoming and then boom you know somebody has a death in the family somebody loses their job somebody loses their home um loses a pet i don't know all these things keep snowballing and i feel like someone is just on an emotional roller coaster and kind of like a mess right now so they're trying to sort out um their life in this energy so that you know this romance can get back on track that's kind of what i feel here all right so that's kind of how they're feeling right now so maybe Maybe there really hasn't been a lot of talk about, you know, the actual romance. Where's it going from here? Because maybe it's just someone's been through a lot of touchy things. Don't really want to bring up the connection and where it was heading. Because maybe it would be a little inappropriate as well. I don't know. But let's see, you know, let's just see how they're truly feeling about you, Aquarius, right now. All right. So Aquarius, I'll be doing more love readings on this channel. So if you're returning and you're wondering, where's the money in Korea? Where's spirit messages? I'll go to my backup channel. I haven't done them yet, but I will be doing something over there as well. There are some readings over there. They're more collectives. Pick a card. Um, also, all signs of timestamps for the next three months. They are timeless right now. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do it over there, but you will find more generalized readings over there if you like that as well so well, let's see how they're feeling about your right now Aquarius I just kind of heard through turmoil love prevails so whatever that means nine of cups so they could be overindulging a little bit and maybe they're just going through so much right now that they could be and it could be overindulging just a little bit whether it's food drink whatever that may be four pentacles so there is a lot of holding back right now restoring of balance it could be going through some uh, minor legal things as well the suns which is ultimate happiness so they're doing a lot of healing right now that's why there's holding back um conquering something i definitely feel that as well 
page of wands. So they're definitely getting ready here to send some sort of message or good news. Or they could be waiting on some sort of message or good news. Could be legally, doesn't have to be. Um, that will kind of restore their happiness, joy, balance in their life. So right now they're kind of in energy of holding on, not letting go, holding back, reserving their energy. Again, they could be maybe drinking a little bit or doing some things that they shouldn't be um, until... I'm getting like a very anxious, nervous energy waiting on some, some sort of news, whatever that may be. But, you know, the sun is the happiest card. So I do see Sag, Leo, Ace of Cups. So I felt like this was a new be new beginning. I love that. It was just starting to blossom. And then boom, some sort of turmoil or events happen here that kind of put this romance on hold. They do feel like, you know, a lot of happiness with you. Like you light up their life. You light up their day. You bring a smile to their face. They love the communication with you. It's exciting. It's inspirational. It's creative. It's spiritual. And I think they're thinking about that with the Four of Pentacles. They're holding on to that right now with whatever they're going through. Four of Wands. So they're definitely worth thinking about uh, solidifying this with you and bringing it to the next level, whether it was moving in again taking that leap of faith aquarius mg so this could have been in the energy of we we're just getting ready to commit or be exclusive or maybe move in or marriage or engagement so there was some sort of leap of faith that was going to be taken here or they were thinking about it taking that leap ace of pentacles solid new beginning <laughs> wow so actually the six and the four give you the ten of pentacles and you start with the ace to get the ten of pentacles three of wands they were kind of waiting for the right moment to spring something on you here whether it's okay let's be exclusive let's be committed let's be in a relationship let's just say we're a couple now let's get engaged let's get married whatever the situation may be i feel like they were waiting for the right moment but then they had to walk away here um for some reason here Ace of Swords here. So definitely divine clarity from source. Awakening, epiphany, aha moment, clear-cut communication. Successful new beginning. So two aces right here. So this is kind of like divine clarity from source, which could be definitely the case for someone. See, a lot of heartbreak, disappointment that they're going through right now. That's why it's taking so long. Taurus energy. Hmm. So I see Aquarius there. I need a little more on this. Let's get a little more of this. So that's you, Aquarius, right there. So they're definitely we're getting ready to advance this to the next level. What else do we need to know about this? Ace of Cups. Yeah, brand new beginning in love. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups. King of Pentacles. They were getting ready to commit here because that can be someone who is married, wants to be married, very loyal, grounded, trustworthy, stable kind of energy, very traditional could be a leader they could be a leader a business owner entrepreneur or it could be you um work in finances doesn't have to be though nine of ones yeah they're struggling right now so they're going through something i felt that but they're moving in the right direction so things are starting to move forward and clear up for them but they still have some stress and anxiety here whatever this is but we have nines two nines one more ten endings new beginnings so they're almost at the end of this journey whatever this is for you for them but things are starting to go, you know, smooth sailing, starting to progress, move forward. Things are starting to wind down, whatever this is for them. Yeah, see, a lot of conflict, a lot of strife. We have a lot of people here. And I was feeling that tower. There it is. A lot of unexpected occurrences I'm feeling. Aries energy. That's why they kind of had to put things on hold here. So now I want to see, so definitely whenever, whatever this is uh, for them, when this all clears up, boy, they really, really, uh, they were getting ready here to pop the question or do something here before all this uh, happened. But let's see more info, like when this is going to happen. Three pentacles could be within the next three weeks. See, building, growing, expanding together. Justice, again, could be legalities. Doesn't have to be. So we have 11. That could be November which is um, not that far away. So, you know, legal battles, things coming to an end, truth, clarity, justice, balance, getting what we deserve, universal law and order, soul contracts, things meant to be. 
Ten of Wands coming to an end. Yeah, so October, this could be all done. And then in November, boom, we were building a life together. Eight of Pentacles, yeah, putting in the work, building a life together. Two of Wands, choosing the new path, but it's just a little more little more work needs to be done here. See, there's towers showing up again. So I definitely feel like whatever this is for them, coming to a close in October, things between the two, two of you taking flight kind of like in November, a sense of building together, working together, choosing a new path together. But all this has to be overcome first. Yeah, so ending of a cycle, new cycle starting. Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. It could be a little bit of a distance right now um, because of this. But there's the Ten of Cups with the lovers. So definitely a soulmate, total happiness, joy, fulfillment. Gemini energy. Wow. So let's see. Um, Aquarius. So what else do we need to know? I want to get some advice and guidance for you as well. And then we'll get some love messages. So it could be, I, I don't think they're really talking a lot right now. Or there's not, like I said, a, not a lot of talk about how the life between you is going to build together in the future because of whatever they have going on. It's just like not the right time. It's not the right, you know, kind of energy to talk about that. So that's stuff that's not being said. Judgment here. So once something is released here, this is resurrection. Judgment calls, final decision. We have Pisces, Scorpio, intuitions as well. Queen of Cups, there's a lot of love and emotions here. Cancer energy. Two of Swords, things are a little blocked right now. And then things are all going to crumble down here. So we have 16, which is 7. So within this, uh, maybe 7 weeks here. So that's kind of what I feel. But there are a lot of love and emotions between you. Once this is all said and done, resurrection, and that's what's not being said right now because it's just not right the right kind of energy, I feel. But let's get uh, more advice and guidance for you for Aquarius. So I see Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. That could, um, yeah, Cancer, Aries, advice and guidance for. So we have the Magician and the um, Emperor. So Divine Masculine. Definitely is taking control when they're in control of their life, their situation, everything's overcome. Again, this could be a leader, a boss, business owner, entrepreneur, maybe a little more mature, older energy doesn't have to be, and infinity, past lives, manifesting a new beginning. So when they have control, <laughs> control uh, their power back, you know, all this is cleared up. There's that new beginning. So just know that this will manifest. Yeah, they, they don't want to juggle all this energy plus trying to juggle a future with you because I feel like they want to focus, be able to focus everything on you and the connection. Yeah, as I said, that's two of cups. Oh my goodness. Two soulmates coming together. Three of swords. So that's the blowing up of all the heartache, disappointment that has happened here. And then a stable, grounded energy, maybe becoming single, whatever's happening here. Stable, grounded, independent, standing on their own two feet and nothing is bothering them here. And now they can focus on the connection with you. Definitely here. Yeah. So I have Gemini, Virgo, Aries. Four of Cups is still thinking about you. And the Four of Swords. Strong connection cannot be denied. A lot of willpower, strength, determination. A little holding back right now because they're, again, stuck in sticky situations. There's a, here's the Four of Movement in Love. Courting, dating, getting to know. Whatever it is for you. Moving things forward, I feel. And there's the Ace of Swords again. So we have Scorpio, Leo, past life. So definitely a strong bond, that is for sure. And this definitely was moving somewhere. But let's get love messages from you. Aquarius. Love messages for Aquarius. becoming a better person okay so whatever this is they're going through maybe taught them a lot of lessons restore their humility humbleness i know that i crossed the line with you hmm. whatever that means 
I bury myself in work to forget. It's whatever they are doing right now, it's it's like they have to bury themselves in it. It's like burying them as well, but it's almost it's almost done. I can't stop thinking about you. Yeah, I got that energy. I feel like this, I know I crossed the line with you, so they can't yet cross that line um, yet because they have to deal with all this stuff that we're getting ready to um, in a good way, like proposal or something, I feel. You speak to me through music, so you got a connection through music. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. Yeah, they didn't want to let you go, but they kind of had to, whatever, for whatever reason they had to. But this is almost coming to completion, full closure, whatever that means. And they're coming back here to take that leap to, I'm feeling proposal. That's kind of what I feel, whatever that means for you. And I think you, you both felt it. You both knew it. But it's like whatever this is for them, it's not really appropriate to talk about where the connection is going because of, of whatever they're going through. They could be you know, caught up in legal battles of some kind. It may not be divorce. It could be other things. And it's just kind of taking them away. But whatever took them away is not going to keep them from you, I don't think, Aquarius. All right, Aquarius, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped. That resonated. Again, everything you need to know is down below. Playlist are down there. And you can check out the other channel. Again, uh, more readings going over and links are below. I ask that you please do check it out. It'd be greatly appreciated. So wishing you the best, Aquarius, and I shall see you next time.